What was bro? Remember we went to that game. So like nobody noticed. I feel like I feel like only me and you noticed, and then like the person who had to get us in. So like me and him, we were hurt the year we played uh, Northwestern, and so it was at Northwestern. So like everybody who didn't play, they you could take the bus up there. But like me and Wu was like, all right, we just we drive. So we drove together. We couldn't even get like in the locker room, bro. So like we watched the game. It was freezing, by the way. So we couldn't even get to the locker room. Couldn't get to the sideline. And we watched the game from the uh, from the stands, bro. Oh no, that's foul. Episode of Varsity House Podcast. I'm your host Sean Crawford. Uh, we got my boy Carl Jones, um, best friend from high school. Went to St. Edward High School, Lakewood, Ohio. Best best school in Ohio. But um, down here at the Brew Office on West Six in Cleveland, and we got some Cleveland Browns here today. We got Greg Newsom, <laughs> and we got uh, Jeremiah Wusu Cormore. So appreciate y'all coming in today for sure. So sure, appreciate y'all for having us. Yeah. Appreciate y'all for having us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so it was, it's interesting. Like, obviously, you came to Cleveland. I was excited. I'm from Cleveland. But now I want everybody to, like, talk about JOK now. What's up, what's up with these nicknames? Because, I call, I mean, at Notre Dame, we called you Wu. Now they call you JOK, which I don't – dude, some people might call you Jeremiah. So what's what's up with the nicknames? Which, which one's your favorite? I mean, I, I would tell people all the time, like, it don't matter what you call me. Just as long as it ain't, you know, disrespectful as we know. But now I done got woo, I done got two, I done got <laughs> dot world, I done got uh what <laughs> dot world. My Instagram name used to be woo dot world, so everybody used to call me dot or they call me. So you was world. like low key early on, like even the uh, name, the, yeah. the crypto stuff too, like dot eth and dot, dot whatever. You was dot <laughs> you, was, you was dot you was oh, dot early. world dot. <laughs> they call me dot man. I'm, I'm about I still got a dot in my name now. I've been trying to change it for a little bit, but it's not important right now. But no, so the favorite I think my favorite one is JOK though. I mess with that. It's like me in totality. Like Woo or Woo is just, you know, that's the last name. You know, mm-hmm. J O K is like the whole shebang. You know what I'm saying? So, you got any uh, nicknames yeah. or is it, is it just uh, Greg? Yeah, it's just Greg G G two twice two times. Like, I got a I got a bunch of them. I got but you. Nobody, everybody called me Greg though. G2. I got you. How y'all? Uh, obviously, y'all started like the little voluntary practices and stuff. How are those going so far? Uh man, they going well. Um, it was good to just get back around with the guys. We was like a fresh group last year, so we trying to implement new leaders on the team. We trying to be leaders on the team, so I think they've been going well so far. You trying to be a you you trying to be a leader on the team? Man, look, man, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I definitely am for sure. You know what we call a leader, captain, soldier, warrior. I'm just trying to do whatever I can right now to be able to. You know, contribute to the wins, contribute to the Super Bowl. We got to bring back, you know, big words, big hopes. Yeah. So. Is it just, like, conditioning right now and stuff? Uh, it's a little bit of both. Um, well, it's a little bit of everything, actually. We're yeah. lifting, we're doing conditioning. Um, they had, like, a little yoga session the other day. And then we do walkthroughs and all types of stuff. So, um, First, obviously, first NFL offseason. Very different than the college one to where it's, like, you probably get, like, two weeks off and then got to be back for the summer conditioning, summer workouts and stuff. So, How's the off season? Um, I mean, y'all had a long one, so hopefully, long. It ain't it ain't that. Hopefully, it ain't as long next year. But what's how how was that? Y'all, you took some trips. What'd you do? Man, like it was a long off season, bro. Like especially coming from college when you got you like two weeks <laughs> or like four, or whatever. However long our joint was, what did we what did we get? It was like a month off, I think May. More than that, bro. We had was like, it more than that? We had like three months. Off. <laughs> January, January, bro. February, nobody March. has nobody has bro, January, months. February, March. January went to workouts. And are you talking about college or the league? College. Oh, oh okay, yeah, like yeah. I was comparing it. I'm yeah, saying, okay, yeah, because yeah, we, you know, 
coming from college, like it's a little like weird, a you know what I mean? Because you got multiple weeks and stuff like that. So, you know, you give 20, I'm 22, uh, you know, 20, give us money <laughs> without, <laughs> with no restrictions. It's like, all right, you know, I'd have been in Jamaica, all over Jamaica. I'd have been to Ghana. And, you know, I did a lot of things, you know, in reference to just traveling to the U.S. and stuff like that. I mean, because it's, it's a good time to travel, you mm-hmm. know. As they say, you know, travel comes wisdom. So I'm, I'm interested in traveling more places. But you ain't just go to Ghana to, to, to vi- like just to visit or have fun. You went, yeah. you went, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, with, with those type of resources, you know, a lot of opportunities, like, pop up. Yeah. Like, okay, well, I got these amount of funds. Okay, well, how can I get back? Oh, dang, let me go to Ghana to host some camps. You know, it wasn't like a recommendation from somebody or anything, mm-hmm. but it was me. And I basically paid out of pocket, like, you know what I mean? Trying to get donations here and there. But a lot of this stuff is just based on me, you know, trying to, you know, give back, do what I can over there and, and bring some consciousness, um, you know, that body, mind, soul type of connection. But, you know, it was it was a fun trip, though. Is that something you always wanted to do? What, uh, give back? Like, or? just give back in, in terms of that? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I think everybody has like almost like a hidden, you know, dream or a hidden goal to really like be a teacher in a sense, you know, teach whatever, you know, you feel like is you know, interesting to you, you know. So for me, you know, learning football and learning different things about spiritual aspects that contribute to football, um, you know, I, I was like, you know, might as well do something in the community. You know, if you're going to be here on this earth, you got to help in some type of way. So it was a good experience, man. You got to travel a lot of places, help a lot of people, feed a lot of people. Even clothed a lot of people, so. Right. How about how was your how was your off season? <sighs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, crazy, we gonna get in the crazy. Air. No, I was in uh, AZ. That's where I. That's where I was like my base. I was okay. training out there, so I was in AZ. Went to LA, went to Vegas, went to Connecticut for a little bit. Michigan, like I was just traveling everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Literally, <laughs> like on the weekend, somebody would say, "Slide up," I'd be like, "Bet." But um, no, nah, I had a good off season. That's how I beat them. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, yeah. Somebody be yeah. like, "Hey, you trying to come up this weekend?" It'd be Thursday. Better I'll get a flight tomorrow and I'll just go. Yeah, just go and enjoy myself for real. Like, I took, I might have took like a month off, month and a half off after the season. Didn't do nothing, just chilling, just trying to. Cause I mean that rookie season is long, so mm-hmm. I was able to just decompress a little bit, reflect, and just enjoy myself and enjoy my family for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Exactly what it be. Yeah, you said right on that, bro. Yeah, what you doing, bro? Oh, you pull up. That's literally I'm going what we back. Did. Oh my goodness, literally. <laughs> I went to uh, Phoenix for like what was it, like a week, like two a days, week or something like that. I was out. I'm like, cause I was about to go train. I'm about to go train the Exos. You know, mm-hmm. went there like a day or two. I'm like, oh, look, you want to go to the crib? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had a free month or whatever for Exos. You know, you get the draft and stuff. I wanted that still count because I didn't, I didn't really use it. You should have. I told you to come with me. Bro. I'm a, see what I'm doing. I'm gonna go in June. In the gym. No, it's actually supposed to. They told us to slide. Yeah. It's supposed to be like a big group. Like, a, well, not a big when, group, but like a. What OTAs? The mandatory jobs? July? I don't be knowing, bro. No, it's probably in. It's probably in June. Nah, cause June I'm gonna be in all half of the month. In June I'm gonna be in uh, Africa. All right. Well, now we are talking about the draft. Let's rewind back a year. Obviously, right now. The draft just happened. Y'all got new guys coming in the building. I mean, you were just in this position, new city, um, new people or whatever. But rewind back a year back, woo, I kind of know your experience. Like, obviously, we were talking pre-show. Like, you you the Buckets Award winner. You, you I mean, you supposed to go, like, top five, top ten or whatever. Um, but obviously, like, it didn't happen that way. Um, guys playing you in a great position now. But... Even Greg, like you, you were saying that you didn't you didn't expect to go first round, and you ended up going first round. So it's just like I mean, obviously we can't we can't control what happens, but both I feel like both of y'all are in a great position now. But speak on um, just your draft experience, your draft weekend, um, and some of that a little bit. Yeah, man, the draft was crazy. Like I said, coming out of college, um, I mean, I didn't have any awards. I didn't go all anything my first three years for real. So. Oh, yeah, so you played as a freshman, right? Yep. Yeah. So my freshman year, I got hurt, so I was out. Sophomore year, I ended up getting hurt again. Had a good – like, I led the Big Ten, and but I didn't get – our team was boo-boo, so I didn't get no, like, all anything. Mm-hmm. And then my junior year, ended up going crazy, All-American, all that stuff. And um, I had, like, a late second, third-round grade, but they thought I was going to run, like, 4-6. So that was the – 
that was the thing. Like they <laughs> they thought I was slim, weak, not fast. So I knew if I was able to run, and that's why I went with like a bigger agency. I knew that the agency would be able to push my name out more than certain agencies. So um, then I end up draft week. I honestly I thought I was going earlier than twenty six. Like I thought, mm. like I thought I was going like around sixteen ish. So as I started to fall a little bit, I was getting a, a little bit nervous. Like I knew I wasn't going. I didn't think there was a way I would leave out of the first round. Just it was a corner. I thought it was a it was a great corner class too that we had. Um, but the weekend was crazy. When I got the call, I was super excited. Cleveland was the team I talked to the least, which was the craziest part. Like mm-hmm. I didn't talk to them <laughs> at all. So I like I got a call. I'm like, it was like yeah, this is the Cleveland Browns. I was like that's why I was like Cleveland. But I, at the same time, I was real happy. But I was honestly surprised because. Mm-hmm. I didn't think it was Cleveland, but nah, it was good. I ain't do nothing after the draft. I got drafted, went to my room, chilled. Like I ain't go out or nothing, and was ready to work honestly. Cause I, I kind of felt disrespected still. Like there was corners that got picked before me at the end of the day, no matter what round I went in. So I had like a workers mentality right away. Like I was ready to get to work after that. Mm-hmm. You ready to get to work after that? Oh man, <laughs> man. <laughs> My draft experience was was the was type of crazy, and I and I say that because like during the draft, like let me know if you feel this way. During the draft, I feel like you don't you be thinking about your family more than you be thinking about like yourself. Because it's like, dang, if I don't get drafted, what family gonna do? What family yeah, gonna everybody, say? Everybody expecting you, you to, know. To... So it really be that for me, or it was for that. It was that for me? You know what I mean? I felt like you know during that first round, you know, family there to do a big party. I got a bunch of friends in that joint. And like having to just cancel that joint after, that was the worst part about the draft. It wasn't even that I got picked for. It was like, all right, you know, they they do what they want to do. They want to say what they say. A reference to the draft, you know, I know the most high got a will. So for me, it was just like telling everybody like, hey, go home, right? Like, and yeah. I ain't got picked. I still got, you know, a bunch of hats sitting on the table. That, that was that was crazy for me, you know what I mean? Because it, it was just a time where I could really think about. You know, a time, and I felt that I felt like I let my family down. You know, you don't really. It's not like you really letting them down for real. But yeah, you know, but and they'll tell you that, like, hey, you know, still proud of you. Let's say stuff like that's that. That's the worst, bro. That's but the that worst. Means, yeah, that's the most. They're still proud yeah, of you. Yeah. That's that, the <laughs> still, still right there. Still, <laughs> they that's understand the that still word still is crazy. like, dang, it's od. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like, od. <laughs> you know, yeah, but but what's worse than the still is the are you good? Yeah, mm-hmm. you okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that are you okay? Cause like they actually speaking, they actually speaking about something that you like, really opposite to. Right? Are you okay? It's like, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, but right. but why would I be okay? Like I didn't get drafted. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So it's like almost like an obvious, you know, rubbing on the back, and I'm like, I'm good. Like, come on, yeah. yeah. But no, nah, it was an overall good experience just in terms of the training process. I know we just had some people from Notre Dame get drafted. I don't think anybody from Northwestern got drafted. <laughs> but, um, uh, y'all best players from Northwestern. Oh <laughs> look. But just you know, saying, my turn. All right. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> but no, nah, it, it was smooth, man. I'm, I'm glad that um, I was taking when I was taking and how I was taking. Um, I'm yeah, sure, I keep going. I'm making sure I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you talk to Cleveland in the draft process at all? I talked to somebody twice, three times, or something. So, so like only once or twice, and yeah, but I, I, I talked to some teams like 12, 15 times. Some teams, some teams wasn't even talking about. Linebacker. They're talking about safety. Mm. <laughs> I did. I, I, no, I saw that a lot. And, yeah. uh, Carl, he's uh, in TV, mm-hmm. and so he. I mean, he does like a bunch of like draft prep, and obviously he he played uh, football at Syracuse, and so I mean he played DB as well. So mm-hmm. we always talk to each other about like our seasons, our schools, and he was like, he was like, teams talking about him at DB. He's like, his man like that. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, like it was. Yeah. <laughs> my man was crazy. Like, I, 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 like, I was like, I was like, DB, like it, it, de- it depends on, on how you, you play. Yeah, him, yeah, you feel me? Like we, I'm not gonna put him on like you know, yeah, so, you like you island yeah. whatever. But it's like what? like <laughs> game like game on the line. I trust him, in, man. Right, yeah. You feel me? But so that's so yeah. We were actually talking about that like pre-draft. Yeah, it, it's a crazy thing because it's like you really down as an ATH. They see you as linebacker, you like listed as linebacker. But like they really could say, you know, athlete. My man is playing in the apex. He's down the line in the box and things like that. So, and I've actually played some dime reps at Notre Dame, like at safety in the middle type of deal, you know. But it, it, it's interesting. 
It's, it's I knew he was drafting you, though. You've seen the video. This two years in a row, uh-huh. you didn't call the second. The uh, a I pick. said we was drafting him. Yeah, you said that's about him, and then you said about Winfrey this year, huh? Mm-hmm. And Wait, David. Wait, what happened? Do you ain't see the video? So after I got drafted, I, I come to I come like to that. Cleveland the next day. So I'm at the Cavs, like, and we watching the draft. I was like, I said, JOK ain't yeah. go yet. I was like, we about to get. Dang. I was like, if he's still on the board, that's we grab crazy. JOK. We traded up and got him. I yeah. knew it. I knew he was about to get him done. Hey, that's crazy. Was it right before? Yes. Like, it was that's before funny. I was watching it. I was like, JOK. You got still a Cleveland joint, right? Yep. I was yeah. like, JOK still on the board. We about to get him. That's crazy. Traded up and grabbed him. Yeah. Yeah, now. What's up, now? What pick were you? 52, maybe. Damn. Yeah, 52. How's that, and how's that anticipation? Like, I mean, obviously, like, you know you're going to get picked. Like, I feel like y'all knew y'all was going to get drafted, right? So you knew your name was going to get called, but how is the anticipation to where it's like, I mean, that first round to where, I mean, the, the way you get drafted means a lot as far as, like, money and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, like that anticip- anticipation, like, leading up to your name call, what is that like? Money, man. Man, um, it's like everybody in the room is just sitting there, look, just looking at you. It's like you just sitting there, yeah. like this, and everybody's just staring at you, waiting for it. You know what I'm saying? And everybody's having a good time. I'm not. Like I'm sitting there on the couch, just staring at my phone like this while everybody drinking, having yeah. fun, eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't eat a thing the whole day. Mm-hmm. I didn't eat one thing. I didn't take a drink. I didn't do any. Like I didn't do anything the whole time. I was just ready to get called, honestly. But I mean, he honestly got a good end. Like, people told me, like, they would rather you fall to the second than get drafted late first. Like, it's weird. Because of the fifth year? Because of the fifth year option. So, like, it's like a yeah. – obviously, yes, yeah. you're going to get more money if you get drafted in the first round, correct? Yeah. And, like, that was a dream of mine. Yeah, of course. I had, like, that's a dream of everybody's. But it's it's good things to both of them, honestly. The, cra- so. the crazy part about that is during that time and in- anticipating where you're going to get picked, you low key gotta entertain the family. You got kids walking running around. And it depends how you, you know, decide to celebrate. But I mean kid my kids running around, you had all types of grown ups wanting to dance with you, aunties. <laughs> you know, ain't, ain't nothing happened yet. You ain't get picked yet. <laughs> but they just wanna dance with you and do all this other stuff and you really like and you're laughing, you're entertaining them, but like in the back of your head, you were like, All right, like, I'm trying to get picked. <laughs> you know, like right. dancing, we're doing whatever. And, you know, it's it's you know, it's it's, it's not stressful. But it is like a, um, it's not stressful. Stressful not the word I'm looking for. It, it's more so like a bittersweet. It's a, it's a bittersweetness, you know what I mean? Like it's like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm finally going to get picked or I'm finally has an opportunity to go to the NFL, but then it's also like, all right, where am I going to get picked? Right, yeah. How much money am I going to make? Mm-hmm. Uh, dang, is, is the fans going to like me there? Like you got so many other things like that right. you think about. You got, I mean, y'all in Cleveland, so you like, was it hard to adapt? Or, nah, I mean, I like both y'all, or you from VA is not really yeah. the Midwest, but Chicago. Chicago is pretty much the Midwest, just sm- probably smaller. But mm-hmm. um, was it hard to adapt to like the new city? And then, I mean, you got people trying to get a piece of y'all to where it's like, <laughs> as far as as far as off the field, <laughs> mar- so as far as mar- off the field marketing, to where it's like, yo, come by here, do this, do this, make this appearance, do all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And then the probably just like the a whole roll of like new DMs and. All that stuff, like, off the field, like, how is it, like, um, avoiding those distractions but, like, still, like, remaining focused on uh, what you got to do on the field? Great. I mean, <laughs> great. You avoid distractions? Yeah. Okay. I think so. I mean, I just feel like we both came in and did the same. Like, we embraced the city. We embraced the team. Uh, and, like, a city like this, like, Cleveland is a football team. Like, if you come in and embrace the city, they're going to embrace you. Mm-hmm. Uh, so distraction-wise, like, I think I had a good support system, honestly, behind me to be able to do that. Like, now I got my sister moved in with me. Because, honestly, what? like, I did, av- like, I avoided some distractions, but it's it's overwhelming, though. Like, it's, a, it's the stuff is overwhelming. So I had her actually come in and move, move in with me this year. But, no, nah, it was a I lot of distractions that. for sure. I had to do that too, huh? I had to do that. Oh, bro, I had I had to because like, it was sometimes where I was just like doing like yeah. I don't need to be doing this right now, and yeah. I think I played great, but I'd be like, what if I had to change and tweak this a little bit more? Like, yeah. how much better could I have been? You know, so that's why I got my sister moving in with me to keep me more <laughs> in check this year. And, that, and that's fast though, and, and you'll see that all throughout like just everything. You know, it's like the higher you get, it's almost like the more of a support you know system you, need. you almost need. You know. Like, for me, I, I need to try that out. I need to have my sister a little bit or something to, like man. that to help out with stuff. I mean, 
There's so much going on. You know what I mean? Too much. In Cleveland? What? And, and like, cause it's so, <laughs> like, Cleveland is <laughs> like people don't know how like, especially being like a Browns player, like it don't right. matter where we go, like it's always gonna be somebody there. It's always, but you just need to have that person with you always and be like, nah, cause like I'm so not like I'm not gonna decline. Like you wanna, of course, like you just need that that pit bull be behind you, just <laughs> yeah. be like nah, he, like today he's fine, or you know, just stuff like that. Being able to call people and do reservations because, like, I don't like name dropping. Like, I don't like doing that. Like, walking up somewhere and be like, hey, let me get this because it's, like, I like having my sister or somebody call him, but, like, ahead a, a and just be like, he's coming in. Can you make sure that he gets, like, a room further away so he doesn't have to deal with, you know, all the extra stuff? So it's good having. I might name drop every now and then. No, I, don't, I just don't like doing Like, I do it if I have to, if I really, really have to. <laughs> It be at the top golf. That's the only place I do it. Top golf a good place. Only place. But, but the, the, the hotels for the, the family. Uh, what's too. the plug at Top Golf? I might. I might need. I might. You. Your name. They might think you to come in there one day, but it just might be me and him pulling so up. So I be getting the little the little bays. Be yeah. I gotta do is pay for the little food. Little bays. Little ba- the bays. The bays. bays. That's what it's called. Okay. Not the bays. Not B A E. Because you have many of them. Many of them. Yeah, I, got, I might. You, you might. They might tell you one time that you was here last week, but it, it was actually, it was you. It was, me, though, so. <laughs> it was where a hood. <laughs> <laughs> the hood's you, right? the hood's about it. No, it's funny you say that though because I covered a team up in Buffalo, and it's similar, to, smaller than Cleveland, but it's like small, like you know, compared to like L.A. and you know Miami and all that. But they always talk about how everybody know you wherever you go, as opposed to where L.A. or New York, where you know. Movie stars, you everywhere. Get, yeah. but also though, but you like you're not the biggest. Without even exactly, you're not the biggest. You're not the biggest one. You're not the biggest people there. Yeah. Not movie. even close. So it's just like I feel like Cleveland def- definitely is. It's just, I mean, it's, it's just right, you know, for for a specific type of guy. You know, what I mean, like if I'm a guy that loves marketing, Cleveland is your place that you wanna, you know, be for like your football career. If I'm a place that you know loves fans and you know is a people person, Cleveland, Cleveland is the place you gonna wanna be. If you're not a uh, you know a football person, then you're gonna go to places like, like partying and yeah. and that's your priority and stuff like that. And doing all that, Cleveland's not like it's obviously it's some place to go, right. but it's not no L. A. Yeah. or Chicago or you know those bigger cities. Like I didn't want a big city for real. Yeah, it's the same thing I with like college. When you look in the colleges, you look at the environment that is around. Is it a big school? Is it a party school? You know, is it a um, PWIs at HBCU, you can have all these different factors of the people and the environment and the culture. So, I mean, I think it's the same. It's a similar process with college. On, only thing is, you know, you get picked. <laughs> you know? Facts. That's all. No, you got it. Uh, so here, I mean, we got a new segment that we do. It's called One of None Moment, um, where we just basically talk about a moment that we've that we've encountered, whether it be in sports or whether it's life, to just, like, highlight it your career or just like a moment that's memorable for you um I always talk about my game at Michigan State where I had a forced fumble on the goal line uh punched it out and recovered it and then like that gave us it was like a uh we were we would have been up a touchdown but then we got the ball back went down to score so we went up uh two touchdowns so that was like a big moment in the game also uh beating Clemson we beat them when they were I think they were number one but when they when they came to our field um Crazy game, overtime, uh, made a big play in overtime just to to, to get force it to for, uh, fourth down. So those are my two moments. I mean, obviously y'all had great careers and everything like that. And so it's probably a lot of moments, but if you could just pin, pinpoint one. Man, um, honestly, my first moment would be a negative one. Well, it wasn't a, it was a negative play, but I think it shaped me, honestly. My freshman year, Big Ten championship. Um, like, we was, we came back. We was against Ohio State, obviously. We we were down, honestly, big. We came back. We was within, like, 10 points. And they run, like, a double move and cover three. Mm. Touchdown. Hit me for, like, three, got, like I, 60 I, yards. I got, hit one, I got hit on one of those against Florida State. It was like, a, it was, I was jumping everything that game. <laughs> Like I'm sitting there crazy. Ready to jump. I'm, ju- I'm jumping I'm everything that game. Center, yep. I'm jumping everything that game, and so they. I mean, obviously they got coaches too. So he mm-hmm. go third and like four or something. I'm like, oh, why split slant? I that. jump down and slant. Boom. It was yeah. third and twenty. Oh, 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 hold on. Terry McLaurin was out there, so okay. I was ready. I thought he did a little stutter. He 
Oh my touchdown! Like See you later. and then obviously watching the watching he got drafted after that. That's on his uh, draft tape. Mm. <laughs> so like that was that was a moment for me because it made me realize I was like, man, I got to get to work for real. I was that that moment still. Like, I'm ready. To, I got to play. Like, I want to play him. Like just from that one moment. But like positive moment. Um, I would say it was Purdue game my junior year against David Bell, okay. who was like he won the. Best receiver that like he was all American, all that stuff, and that's the game that honestly put me on the map for real. Like that was the not game. the Ohio State game your senior year. Nah, cause that that was already like I already knew I was gone. Okay, for sure. Like they they didn't even throw like that game they didn't throw me. David Bell though, like they tried me. He had I think they targeted him like seventeen times. Mm. He had like he might have had like I think he ended up having like on me it was like. Five receptions for like forty yards. Man. He averaged like one twenty. So like that was the game that like put me on the map. And he was like, and now he's on my team. So he be joking all the time, like he about to get his get back. That's what he said because mm. he he ended with like seventy eight yards or something. But that was the like my moment that put me on the map with like, okay, he is actually an elite talent, like for real. Because the Big Ten receiver wise, if you're not playing Ohio State. Man, really? Man. That's what they say. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm glad you said it because, because I, I'm glad you said it because you agree with that. Uh, pretty much. I mean, there's some there's some uh, good yeah, receivers some, for sure. Yeah, like they got, but a couple, those, they got a couple. Yeah, but those top tier guys that you're gonna find being the guys in the league for real. Obviously, there's guys from everywhere, yeah. but yeah, right. those guys that you're talking about, they coming from the big schools, the SEC, the Big Ten. I mean, Ohio State, that's it. Like, really. You might I get a Michigan dude every once in a while. But. I, I, I swear I told him, I'm like, because, I mean, they love they love Big Ten corners. And I'd be like, because I, I was at Notre Dame, so, <laughs> you know, I, I had to show love to who we played. So I'm like, yeah, we play all, like, we play everybody. We get, we play against the SEC, ACC. We get uh, Pac-12 games, Big Ten games. So I'm like, we, did, like, I feel like as a corner, like, you probably see the best type of talent to do, uh, um, um, the different type of talent. So it's just like, but he he always be saying like, all right, well, the receivers in the Big Ten, nice and all this other stuff. I mean, it's it's guys. It's solid. It's but I so I'm glad you said it because finally, oh for sure, finally you I had said matchups it. where I was just like, <laughs> like I'm not even eyes closed. I don't gotta even like play for like it was games where I just wasn't getting tired. Like it was like. My senior, my junior year was we probably I think we played eight games with the COVID year. Mm. I might have not got targeted in four or five of them games. Like they just, like I just knew it though. Bro. Like the Big Ten, like I love the Big Ten, but it's that's a running back lineman. Yeah, they got you got corners be good. Corners. That's how I feel. Like if you're not, I feel like if you're not a successful corner in the Big Ten, you're not going to be successful in the league. It's impossible. I, I feel like I'm a little biased though, because when I got to the ACC, the ACC was fire. But then my last two years, it fell off because it was just Clemson and like Florida. I like ACC wideouts. But when I first got there, they was fire though. Like Mike Williams, we, we went against Mike Williams Clemson and Deion Kane. Clemson got some. What? You tripping? For the state. For the state got wide receivers. Y'all just like us. For the state got wide receivers. But I'm saying, like, you. North Carolina about, stayed with wide receivers. I'm talking about the. Duke had, like, a UNC, UNC had three nice ones. They had some. They, yeah, what are we talking about here? I mean, I mean we had D- Jahan Dawson. We got some dudes, too. I'm just talking about the. Okay, that's. Okay. Upper echelon. Oh, like, y'all ain't had no upper. Like, really. Clemson, that's it. Like that's just like y'all Ohio State in our division. Well, we don't. Well, I don't even know why I'm arguing for the ACC. We don't even ACC. <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah, we yeah. play everybody. Y'all so play. Don't matter. Yeah, you. Y'all yeah, play. We, yeah, I don't yeah. even know why you argue. So for we ACC. play top tier competition. Nah, y'all kind of cheat y'all schedule a little bit. What was? Uh, oh, we got some games this we year. We got games. Ohio State. Sleep, got, they play two good games. You really, sleep, and boy. They just <laughs> make the rest of the games easy. <laughs> I know what they. How many y'all got? We got. We got. We got to rely on UNC and or USC and Stanford to remain consistent. That's their fault. Right, Lincoln right. Riley yeah, gonna get right. I give you that one. Because yeah. I mean, those sure. are good programs. They just they, they just down right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like now, I think, well, especially USC, I think they're gonna be better because they got uh, no, Lincoln they Riley. Will. Yeah. But Wu, what's your? I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna still call you Wu. But uh, what's your um, one and none moment? Oh, uh, man. What is it called? One and none? One of none. One of none. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like it's the draft for me. Like, I know we just talked about it, but, I, I mean, that's that's the one of none for sure because it's like it's not another incident that's going to challenge me in that sense to where it's like, you know, you you kind of fall back on your expectations. And you kind of like delete the expectations, and you kind of just want to work now. 
know what I mean? Because you felt what it felt like felt like to actually rely on them expectations and them expectations not coming Damn. to to pass. So it's like, all right, I don't want that feeling again. So forget the expectations. Let me just work, you know. So that's the, kind of where I'm at, and that's why I said that's the one to learn because that really shaped me um, just in this year process, I think. Um, Greg, you talked about being from Chicago, but you actually – for high school, you went to uh, you went you went went to school in Illinois for three years, and then transferred to IMG your senior year. Um, obviously, like IMG, like it's a ton of talent coming out of there. I was talking to uh, I was talking to him actually. And we were just talking about the DBs. You had Andre Cisco, you had Del Pitt, who's who's on your team now. Um, Houston that I played with. So I was cheating. It's just, I mean, yeah, it ain't even at that point. It ain't even like high school football. Y'all got like a <laughs> whatever. Yeah, but what was that? Yeah, what was that experience like? And also, what was the reason for uh, going down there? Yeah. So um, honestly, I wanted to be challenged more for real. And I thought that if I go play against better competition all the time, like going into my uh, college year, I would be, you know, a better version of myself. Like my goal from the jump, I knew Northwestern never had a three and out player, and like that was my goal going in. Like I ain't go there to to get bigger offers, like, I did get bigger offers when I went there, obviously, and started and played well, but it was just so I can be the best version of myself coming in right away. Um, but the experience was great. Honestly, it was like jail, for real. Like, to the point where, whoa, 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 like, whoa, honestly. Whoa, wait, wait. Why you ain't going to know the name? He no. said, hold on. <laughs> the experience was great. But, but it, it was, was like, like jail. jail. Like, you have to be built different. Crazy like, you contrast. have to love football in order okay. to go to school like okay. that. And I mean, to the point, like. I don't know who loved jail, but I got you, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you're locked You're locked up in there. Like, and for real. And you just adapt to it, and then you, you got to adapt. And you, yeah, okay. Like, you got, I'm talking about, you got curfew so at drill, 10 p.m. Is drill a good thing or a bad thing? In this, in this, it was, this it was discipline. It, it, it was discipline. It, it was discipline. On discipline. how you want to. It was it was just it was, a stru- it was structured. It was really structured. And like, I feel like just everybody had the yeah. same goal. And so it was yeah. just like, and you around this talent who is like, it's a probably a, a f- five, five stars in every, front of in you. every position. So it's yep. like, if they doing it, and, and, it's, and it's guys before you that did it, and now you see them playing like uh, on Saturdays going crazy. It's like, all right, maybe this is a recipe. Maybe that is something I got to do. But I didn't I didn't know that you went there and was already committed to uh, Northwestern. Mm-hmm. See, I'm thinking that, like, maybe you had something smaller than you went there and you wanted something bigger, but you was just sold on uh, Northwestern? So, at first, honestly, so Notre Dame was where I wanted to go. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I went on, like, three or four visits. They ain't offered me. So I was just like, you know what, forget them. So I went there. Did my thing there. Like, I ended up getting, like, Florida, Florida State. And then, like, a week before signing day, Notre Dame calls me again. Mm, mm. You want to come on an official visit? I'm like, nah, bro. Like, I ain't doing that. I was mad already. I feel like it was – now, hey. at this point, like, y'all want me to come. Who, who's the corner coach? What year you come out? That was – um I came out 20, 28, 17 was my senior year in high school. So, so, about so coach, that's about Coach Light, probably. Light. It was Coach Light. Light. Definitely. That's Light. exactly what I like, – because Julian loved my – like, that was my big brother, okay. for real. So, I, I came – I went on, like, four visits. And I just knew they was offering me on a visit. Didn't do it. And I was like, you know what? Forget them. Then they wanted me to come on an official, like, late. I was like, nah, I ain't having that. You should have came, though. Like, it would have – the story still would have been crazy. I was already – so, you know how when, a, when somebody just – I doubt so, you, bro. So right now, I think podcast. it's it's probably because cause this kind of happened to me. I think it's because you probably took so many visits to Notre Dame, because it was like for me, I was committed to Michigan before, and like that was like my team. Grew up loving them and everything, and then I took like four visits because I committed my sophomore year. So I took like four, oh no, maybe my junior year. So I took like four visits or like maybe even more, and so like it just became like routine. Like it was just it was at this point it was just like are right, we going to Michigan like whatever. <laughs> then I took a visit to Notre Dame because they ain't offered the just same similar thing. They ain't offered me uh, like after my sophomore season, and Michigan did. So I'm like, oh, I'm solid. I'm good. Notre Dame come offering me after my junior season. So I'm like, all right, we'll take we'll take another visit, like whatever. Right. So I did like a weekend trip, went to Michigan. Um, like again, it was routine. I was something I knew. Then I went to Notre Dame first time, and that it was it was it was special. So I'm like. Mind so you. Short, shortly after that, I made a call and it was it was I changed. It. Hey, mind you, this money man now he had all the offers, all the offers under the sun. Yeah, everybody, everybody, was, everybody, yeah, everybody under the sun. No, he, was, he said he went to. You said you went to Bama too visit. 
Georgia. Now, Georgia. Went to Ohio State too? I, I actually, I never, I, so I grew up a Michigan fan, so I didn't even take one visit to Ohio State. But you had to offer. Yeah, yeah, but like so he, I feel like, no, but I feel like I feel like if you from Ohio and like I feel like if you like a four or five star or whatever, like they gotta like Ohio State has to offer you. Like it would just look bad if you go That's somewhere true. else. Virginia, Virginia Tech ain't offer me. Illinois was. On yeah, the but same like thing. it's look at Virginia Tech. <laughs> but Virginia Tech was supposed to be that. They was. School. Nice. It was that was that school for a little bit. They was DBU for a minute. They was though. They had one DB every year, and they from the same family. <laughs> DBU. Who they got? Was and Cam Chancellor. They Fullers, they and DBs, they, they can't. Uh, they had Edmonds. two DBs uh, drafted. We played against Edmonds, not DBs, Edmonds, but linebackers. Edmonds, the Ed, twins from there? Edmonds, both yeah, of the twins. twins. They twins? Yeah, yeah. From Buffalo Bills, mm -hmm. Buffalo and Steelers. Steelers. Yeah. Twins, mm -hmm. twins, both from Tech. Yeah, they twins. Oh, Tech was not, but it's old tech though. That's what I'm saying. I, I think it's like old tech. Yeah. Like, that was not even old tech though. That was that tech was that was five, five, five jerseys. Jerseys. But I, but that was that's probably why though. That's probably you just got so used to Notre Dame and then you was just. But I mean, you you in the right position now. You gonna go? Did you you didn't did you graduate? Oh, so you got a Northwestern degree. Yeah, you exactly. straight. Who didn't? You probably didn't. I got, I got pictures. I ain't never seen no pictures of you graduating. How was Fitzgerald? Cool. Good. Players coach. Okay. Like, literally, we could change stuff. Kind of like, Coach, nah, we need to calm down today. He'd be like, all right, cool. Like, he like he was he was a real cool coach. I feel like we had, if we got the talent that, like, we be competing in, I'm talking about we only getting three-star recruits. Right. Like, one four-star maybe every other year or every year, one. And we at the top of the Big Ten competing in the Big Like, if we got some of the talent that other schools had, with him as a head coach, like, it'd be unstoppable. We wouldn't lose. 757. What's Yay. Mm -hmm. Went to, uh, you, <laughs> you went to, you went to Bethel. You went to a, uh, Allen Iverson's high school. What was, was he uh, just like, how impactful is he, in, is he on the community? And like, was he just oh, man. one of just one of your idols just growing up? Yeah, no, AI has uh, got us really, you know, in touch with his community. Um, I know you see, I don't know if you saw this or not, but he, you know, redid the, the gymnasium and stuff like that. It gives back a lot in reference to, like, certain, you know, events that he's doing. Um, you know, from, from when I was in Notre Dame till now, you know, he was at the Duke game. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. yeah he was at the Duke game. Um, he's been trying to get to a game up to Cleveland, so when he does that, then we'll probably – I'll tell the coaches and we'll probably have some, you know, real, real fun for him. But, no, nah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good situation, you know what I mean, to be from – a town that will have um, a wide range of guys that's come out of Hampton or Newport News. You know, you got some Vic, you know, guys like that, uh, camp chancellors and stuff coming from Norfolk. But you don't really have, like, a bunch of people just shooting out of, you know, that area. You really just have, like, certain impactful guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like AI, game changer. Michael Vic, game changer. Cam, you know, chance a game changer. These are people who just Jeremiah the game. Yeah. Jeremiah Line, uh, linebacker that's two whatever, right? Like two oh five. That's where I'm two oh five. Lift more than him though. <laughs> two oh five too. No, you don't. Look, so but that's the thing, like like coming from a place and there's not that many guys, but it's it's more inspirational guys than it is just the uh, uh you know, a quantity. It's more like just quality guys coming out of there. You know what I mean? And you know it's a, it's a proud place, it really is. You know, I know Greg wishes he was from somebody. <laughs> you know, but Chicago. It's all good. Wait, what part of Chicago are you from? South Side. So, oh, let me throw up the ass like that, like he. Oh, we could. Yeah, we could also mention the three stars because he he was a three star. He got Syracuse. You got yeah. Syracuse late, right? Man, I got Syracuse. I got my first Division One offer week nine of my senior career. <laughs> but like, yeah. it's, so like my situation unique though because. Plant coming from behind him in his class, every single person in that secondary played power five. So it weren't really many opportunities to get on the field. So you so can't even play. So I was on the, yeah. I played offense and then we had two power five running backs. So it wasn't like we was going to be throwing the ball a lot. They left, ended up doing my thing and getting my offers at the end. But like, yeah, I was a three star at the end. And it was definitely mm -hmm. uh, Both of y'all was three stars. <clears throat> I was. Yeah. Well, actually, I was, I was the, I was the four star out of the group, but. Hold up. Okay. Now watch, now watch this. Y'all go on my ESPN account. Jeremiah Wusu Kamoy. That was the only place I was four star on ESPN. I looked at I looked at 247. That's fake news? 247 be. They got be, the composite, though. I did, look, I did look at the. Yeah, that's what I looked at. So I looked, it was like. Look at, I looked majority at the average, rule. Majority the average. rule. 
Definitely right. three star. Mm-hmm. I only have, like I said, the only, only place. I was but, proud of that when I But y'all, that. I mean, you quickly come in and you, I mean, you said you played as a freshman a little bit. You did not, you did not end up playing to your junior year, which is crazy. Um, but like, obviously, when you get in the building, like, you, you realize none of that matter to where it's like, even with the NFL, you get into the building and it's like everybody got to earn their spot on the team. To where it's, I mean, obviously, there's some, there's some leeway with guys who that are drafted and everything, but it's still they're going to play their best because the coach's job is on the line. And so, I mean, they got the city, especially Cleveland, like if, if they don't like – and it's wild because like even when Cleveland was like going 0-16 and, and not winning games, it's like we demand to – like we, we <laughs> demanded some games. Like we demanded to win some games. We demanded change. So it's crazy. But um, how was just like that experience just like walking in? You went to school, I guess, surrounded or majority were three-star guys, you said. So – um, was it just like something that you just was used to? Yeah, it was like the only difference I would say is like getting drafted early, like in, in college, like I was one of the higher recruits like coming in, even though I was a three star. But it's different though, like they still play a seniority piece in okay. college. So like coming in, I'm literally at the bottom, like bottom, bottom, yeah, like I really <laughs> you really gotta work your way up. Like in the league. You get drafted in the like our like our situation, the first two rounds, like we getting thrown in the fire now. Yeah. And they gonna make us go. learn now. Like it's not no you sit behind no, we got draft we got y'all drafted this early for y'all to play now. Like you have to learn like it, and it was stuff that we was messing up the whole season. But like we was making plays, so mm-hmm. it was okay. Like yeah, that's the only right. difference. Like you getting put you get drafted early, you better be ready to play. Unless you're a quarterback. If you're not a quarterback, <laughs> You have to be ready to play right now. Like you have to be ready to play right now. No, you do gotta. You gotta be ready yeah. to play now, because like they're looking at you, and they're like, college. That's developmental. Right. I can see potential on you. I'm, I'm recruiting for college. Okay, but it's a potential thing. I reassured them. Da, 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 da. Man, look, it ain't none of that with the league, because it's like, look, right in now. You don't have a red shirt here. <laughs> I don't have money to waste on you. <laughs> and you also in here with dudes that got four kids. So like, <laughs> you know, you really, it's a really competition. Is is pure competition, you know. But yeah, I mean, going back to your year, your early your career at Notre Dame, freshman year didn't play all red shirted. Um, sophomore year played a little bit of special teams, mm-hmm. and then took off junior year. But it's it's crazy because I mean y'all mentioned like you getting thrown in the fire, and here it's just like or in the NFL it's like you got to go. It don't even matter. But college. In Wu's case, he had to he had to take time to develop, learn a playbook, and every which is crazy because it's like, I mean, you see him play now, but like, and you saw him play as a junior and senior. He was doing that stuff as a freshman, as a sophomore. But it was I, you, I was tweaking out on scout it was, team. bro. Like I'm tell, when he go on scout team, <laughs> they crazy. Like he had he had this swim move. Coach, our, our special team. He used to, he used to swim move like like running like running backs. He used to swim move on special teams, which was wild. Like you don't see people run down on kickoff and swim move somebody because it's like you get hit, it's over. You off your feet, it's over yeah, with. Yeah, it's over. So like he was just doing wild stuff like that, and it was so like fluent. And um, but it was just like he still needed to develop, which is crazy. But um, yeah, talk about that experience a little bit. Like what, like probably yeah. what you had to go through mentally, knowing that like. I mean, you got you talent one, wise, yeah, yeah. Talent wise, you got it, mm-hmm. and then it's just like, but you like, and it's not even just one year; it's two years that you ain't play. Yeah, and and that's the thing, like, and it's a, it's a lot of factors that goes into it for sure. You know what I mean? With college, with the NFL, I think with all of them, there's so many aspects. You may have donors uh, that want you to, you know, play this person. You may have, you know, um, can you you what's you know about that? What you, What's that? You good? Bro? I ain't heard that one before. Yeah, don't. That, that's why it's you was before the NIL. What's you mean? Donor did you was, did you experience that? Right, a donor. Was nah, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm, giving exa- <laughs> I'm giving examples. Okay. Of you know people. Something that you heard somebody this, else this, said this, that. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> else's situation. Gosh. I'm not saying that happened. I'm giving just a, a general. Before I go into my specific, you know, answer, I'm going into a general, uh, you know, position where you have people. That give you have all types of scenarios. This person may have got injured a certain amount of times. This person, um, you know, I don't have a close connection with him. I'm not comfortable with him mentally. I'm not comfortable with him knowing the plays. So it was a whole, you know, it could be a, a whole bunch of possibilities. Right. For me, I sit back and I actually examine <laughs> myself and I say, oh, well, shoot, I probably do need to learn the playbook a little more. You know what I mean? I got the athletic ability, I got the instincts. 
and things like that. But it's a full package, you know, especially when you talk about the league. The league, they're not just looking for you mentally and, you know, um, physically, but they're also looking for you to, you know, provide on the field in the emotional way. You got to be emotionally calm. That's why one of our standards is to be smart and to be accountable. And so if you're not smart and accountable, which has to do with, you know, a high sense of emotions, make sure you know it's a time and place for everything. You got a guy on the field trying to shake somebody else. Oh. You got a guy on the field that's trying to, you know, uh, do some things with your teammates that, you know, aren't, isn't necessarily uh, conducive into you having no flags or no penalties. You know, it's, a, it's an issue. So it's a bunch of aspects, you know, that you look at when you, uh, you know, talk about Donors, playing though. somebody. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, I've never heard that. Yeah. We are, we we've been talking about the differences but, between the league and or league and college, and obviously with college, like you there with four guys, guaranteed, or if they don't transfer, and like you spend a lot of time with them in the dorm, um, just like through camp and through on the field and stuff, and so you see them a lot more than you see the guys in the NFL. What's how how's the uh, the team? What, how's how's Cleveland? Like how's the bond there? Like with the guys and stuff? Are y'all pretty? Because I know we talked a little bit. Y'all are pretty young team, so. Um, y'all can hang out and do things together. Is that is that something y'all do? Oh yeah, especially sure. when we first came in. Man, it's weird, <laughs> it's weird though, cause like I I hear a bunch of stories. Like you even just heard Tannehill saying like, "Oh, I'm not gonna yeah, mentor." Like I saw you coming yeah. on that, yeah. like just stuff like that. But like here is is like is I'm telling you, it's weird. I've heard yeah. either other people got drafted who like the vest was giving them the wrong play, telling them the wrong thing to do, so he'd keep his spot. But like mm-hmm. here. Yeah, everybody sure is like it's it felt like college okay like literally like me and greedy obviously everybody knew me and greedy were the two who was fighting for the you know i got drafted first round he got drafted second round like two years before that so me and him were the ones that were fighting the most but he was one of the guys that was helping me the most mm-hmm. so like it's like a healthy competition and like it really feels like a brotherhood like our rookie class we came in like locked in well, like it was like we knew each other we like we just played on the same college team yeah. for the last four years. And it started to work out. You know, Larry, he was talking about how like, you know, this is the best rookie class. What did he said? He said it was the best rookie class. Like, had. We came in with energy, we competing, we laughing, having fun, but we always making sure, you yeah. know, we, we get our work in at the end of the day. But like we all Fact. it's weird. It, it really feel like college. Like even the new people coming in, Deshaun and some of the new faces we have, like, they just come right in. And they right in. And it feels you know. the exact same. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. weird. So who else in that rookie class is y'all two Schwartz? Uh, Demetri Felton, Hudson, Hudson, Tony Fields, Tony Fields, Richard LeCount, Richard LeCount. Oh Lord, Oh Lord, Richard LeCount. <laughs> what's that? What's that? I that's actually shocking. He he went late, and he I he was, was I used, dude, we I played thought. him at Georgia. I think he might have had two picks when we yeah. played him, but I mean, crazy like real like raw on the field, baller. Yeah, like, and, and he went late. I mean, I don't, it might have been just some other things, but like. I was telling uh, I was telling him actually like when we was talking like preseason I was like yo like watch out for the count like he might he might mm-hmm. start like he might play a lot like I thought he was that good in college he led he, us in picks in the preseason. preseason oh preseason yeah, yeah he he's three. what I would look like if I was a little better but he's what I would look like as a safety <laughs> <laughs> and You're I said not that rangy like why that, it, I, well, I, you sleep <laughs> so why I said that because like he ain't like a rule book guy like yeah I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this and then that's, that's how it. you play linebacker. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's, what, yeah, yeah. that's he, what I look like if I'm. He doesn't have a position. Like, that's what, that's what, see ball, get ball is his job every play. I promise. That's I what Richard do. That's what he does. No, that's that's him still now. Just like you were saying, Notre Dame. Notre I was Dame, waiting to say. It. I, yeah. Yes. Okay. He no. He might know the playbook better than he did at Notre Dame. Book, but at the end of the day, <laughs> every thing about the book. Because he you, goes and gets you, the football. Because you can you can you can see when he play. It's like. It's, you can always see his like reaction step. He just so it's like, so it's, well, you, you know, you ain't supposed you to go know, in like, there. It's like <laughs> it's, it's funny because like you usually see somebody like they get they drop and then it's just like a cool break or they like they do that like whatever they do it right. To with him, it's just like he being grass and then it's just like you oh, see, his, see, bo- you see his body like oh like, <laughs> like yeah, and then he, his first step crazy so he get there but it's just like you always see it it's just like oh That's it's like a reaction type it's of crazy like man. he just be looking looking and then it's a boom but yeah. he, he be knowing though yeah I had a feel like that today but when they did the punch oh, yeah. they did the punch I was running the a gap and they bounced it I <laughs> I've never seen a dude be able to like move like just Bro. play like him like yeah, Lamar. Just, I've never ever ever seen a person be able to tackle Lamar in the open field. That's hilarious. He and Marquise Brown caught a little. Sc- 
He come in that joint a hundred my speed. <laughs> Take them legs out. I'm like, I'm like, the I'm like, no way. Yo, I'm like, no way. Yo, man. I got Lamar, Lamar I'm trying dope. to get out of the pocket. There's mm-hmm. not a, another. There's not too many players in the league that's gonna be able to get him down. Man, like no. running out of the pocket. He got him down. I'm like, this man is crazy. That's yeah. And that's like, it's like, I was like, he's crazy. It's funny because like, like fans are like, tell me or whatever. It's like, yo, like he's crazy. Like I know he was good mm-hmm. at Notre Dame, but he's yeah. he's like unreal. Oh, but crazy. then it's like, yeah, I don't mean to gas you up, yeah. but like whatever. Um, but I'm like, I'm telling him like, wait, wait like a year, wait like a year or two. Like when he actually like learn it. Cause right now he like he's you know he's still, he's yes. still young he just and he just he just see ball I get know ball the book, man. but I'm saying like I'm I'm telling I was like I'm telling him like when he actually learn it he know it's 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 wrapped because this man be gone and we bro. mixing up a lot this year too we, we not mixing up but like we we add some some more stuff too I like it I yeah playing this I, like, year. I like how we doing the things this year a lot more smaller guys who can move but guys who can hit on the field mm. that's that sound like my game y'all need a need a nickel or something Nick. He played nickel now. <laughs> just y'all just drafted another, corner in, fourth, right? mm-hmm. Third, yeah, Third, so, another corner in the fourth, right? Third. Third. So, so like me on the outside, I'm like, dang, y'all already got Zell, yeah. Greedy. But then, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I call, who I call? Who I call? He called me right away. But then we traded Troy, so I was like, okay, I see what uh, they So they, they, the plan is for you to go to the inside, is what you're saying? Man, if that's what they need. Like, really, There's the really plan no is, plan. like, honestly, like, it's probably gonna be more, like, matchup based this year. Like, Woods, That's now, he understands answer. what we have now. That's a great answer. Like, after last season, he's like, man, we got about four corners who can go guard anybody in the league. We got a linebacker who shouldn't play linebacker <laughs> but shouldn't play safety but can really do – he can guard, he can guard, but then he can tackle like a linebacker. Like, right. he can cover yeah. like he can play DB, but he can tackle and he can run side on side So, we're going to put him too. more on the <laughs> – Okay, like let him guard somebody. So like he yeah. sees that we have so much where we can match up with anybody in the league, however we need to. So it's gonna be mm-hmm. more matchup based. Yeah, so those games we need to come based. inside. I'm gonna come inside. Like when we play yeah. Miami, you got Tyreek and Jalen Waddle. Up. Like if y'all like, see me at safety, one of them games. Like it's gonna be like I wouldn't be based. surprised. Like we gonna it's gonna be all. Like, I think this year it won't be just one game plan of like we're doing this every game. Yeah, it's right. gonna be more so. Okay, we have we got Jock, we got Greg, we got Denzel. Okay, we got Ronnie, da 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 yeah. da da da. Let's put that's him why you don't him. see too much movement. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, and like the DBs, you don't see much movement. We picked up like a free free agent, I think. Cause we don't uh, need we don't need nobody. Yeah, like it, like it really. was it wasn't too much movement uh, mm-hmm. except for I'm talking about in the back seven right. for sure. Right. Yeah. But you know, I think it's a, it's a it's gonna be it's gonna be live, yo. That's all I'm gonna say. It's like, a lot coming. It's, it's gonna be hard. Was all the stuff last year distracting to you? I mean, obviously, you talk about like. Y'all got a close group, and I mean y'all brothers and stuff like that. But it's rumors going out that like OBJ is this and that. Baker don't like him, all this other stuff. But then it's like y'all still got to show up to practice, and probably got to. Y'all hear that too, like, and it's like it's not just Cleveland newspaper; it's national news, ESPN every day, to where it's just like tweets getting revealed or getting posted on like ESPN and all that other stuff. Like, what's it like? What was it like? Walking in the building every day, or it was just like, all right, like we on defense, like we gonna focus on what we gotta do, yeah. let them do what they gotta do. But also, I want to know what type of uh, what type of guy is um, Odell? Because I mean, it's it's a lot of things like yeah that are set like rumors that are said about him. Tell me if I'm wrong, yo. Odell gotta be one of the best teammates I've had. Nah, he's the. He's probably the best teammate. Yo, like and people it's be like, OD. It's, it's wild how like the outside from the outside. If I was looking in, it'd be like, oh, all right, yeah, cool. But yo, buddy, really, he be looking out for the, he was looking out for the rookies. He went on that like, you know, yeah, no haze and yeah. like after practice, he'd be like, "Hey, bro, let's work on this." Like, okay, yeah. when you do this, mm-hmm. make sure you okay. When I release you like this, make sure you stay like this. Mm-hmm. He, but the, honestly, the the crazy thing is, Baker was a great teammate too. Like it was, it's like Phenomenal. weird though, because like I like <laughs> him. Like for me, honestly, like he'll do stuff like I would, honestly I would hang out with because it would be like. Austin Hooper, some of the offensive guys. I was hanging out with the offensive guys a little bit. Okay. But, like, he'll take us at the games. I'll go to dinner with some of Like, my family's not in town. He'll, he'll mm-hmm. invite me to dinner and hang out with him. It was just, like, it was just so much. That relationships, those relationships just from the whole entire thing was just off, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like, it was just – and, yes, it was dis- – like, it's distracting, but, like, I knew at the end of the day I still got to do my you job. Do, you're right. And we play – at the end of the day we play defense. So we don't have to worry about the guy throwing us the ball – we ain't got to worry about the guy that's catching the ball. Like, we got to stop them. Mm-hmm. And, like, we control our destiny at the end of the day. They control, obviously, the quarterback, receiver, running back. They can control their own stuff. 
So it was distracting for sure. Like it was definitely locker room talks. It's just like yeah, it was locker room talks, but it wasn't like but like, it wasn't like on locker room like, talks to the point where it's yeah. like let's not play. It's more like locker room talks. From like a humor side, right? Yeah, like, ah, nah, but I don't be trying to leave, like you know, <laughs> yeah, like, be on yeah, that, nah, you know, sure. yeah. they don't really be on the like, ah, bro, y'all see what happened? Nah, it'd be like, hey, bro, what you gonna do? Like, how you gonna? It'd be, it'd be like yeah. more funny talk. But at the end of the day, like you said, man, we got a responsibility to, to, to upkeep, and that's why they brought us here. And that's why they brought everybody that's on the team here. So at the end of the day, it's like, all right, we defense, we got each other, we got our backs, we got their backs as well. You know, we all got to get our situations done, and we are called to handle our jobs at the end of the day. So. Odell, probably the best teammates you gonna Yeah, find. for sure. It's crazy because you hear that all the Christmas time. Christmas, he's making sure, like, uh, before, obviously. Like, obviously, I don't think he was, he wasn't even on the team for Christmas this year. And it was just the simple stuff, like, walk by, he OBJ, you know what I mean? So coming in as a rookie, he's like, all right, yeah, all right, that's OBJ, like, whatever. Regardless, like, he's right, a right. dude, you yeah, better, but he like, man, still be like, this Odell, yeah, like, period. Right. Like, that's how you gonna still be. Show team, love. Still show Cleats love. Cleats and stuff, like, I come by his locker, hey, bro, you need, give me a pair of cleats. <laughs> Like just like re- like he was just one of them dudes like, like that. Cleats. I never got a pair. I've been asking for fourteen. Oh, dear, if you watching this show, I need my fourteen. Uh, you can't cut in those, bro. I ain't gonna lie, but I, I got those. Like I'm gonna put those up. Are they actually, they actually like different cleats? Or are they they not just nah, like they a Nike? his own joints, bro? Oh, like, they're not like they not Nike. No, they're, they're Nike though. But he has his. Own. You know he's like style. the only athlete who has it. Because I thought I thought it was just like a like a vapor or whatever that they just customized and with the OBJ on no, it. No, nah, they customized shoe. to his. It's foot. actual OBJ. <laughs> like it's oh. actually his like, shoe. Hell of people in the locker room got him. <laughs> 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 like it's OBJ. I'd be like, looking at people got him like OBJ. What's up, bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but even with him not giving my cleats, he's still you know it's my dog. You know, <laughs> you still rock with him. Still. still rock with him. You know. I got you. How's the? the I mean, obviously this. Yeah, I feel like y'all always in the media. Cleveland always in the media now. Um, Some you got the whole contract deal. I mean, I guess with both quarterbacks, one got a lot of money and one got or is expected to get too much money. So, Ooh. what's the uh, <laughs> uh, six? six. Jacoby Brissett. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't you switch? You you said you might switch to six, huh? Nah, that's another linebacker trying to get it. Oh, <laughs> Phillips. Ah, <laughs> he know. Cause he wore six. He wore six. Duh. I mean, duh. Uh-huh. But uh, yeah, what's a what's the addition of uh, Watson been like? Cause he, I mean, he obviously been he been off for a year. But I mean, you look at the talent that he is. You look at the year the pre year mm-hmm. previously. Well, first, first and foremost, as a person, like we was one of the first people who we met with here. Yeah, y'all this, y'all took the little picture. First day yeah. here, I think. I think mm-hmm. that was the first day. Yep. We had uh, went to the stadium, had dinner, whatever. So. Mad cool, you know, mad official. Talk about a lot about team leadership. And he got to understand that heavy. You just talk to him a little bit, and he kind of is telling you, like, the small principles and and team chemistry and team building. Um, and, you know, he looking to take the guys, you know, to a place right now, the offense. Then they're getting together, and they're about to, you know, go on a little trip or whatever. Or something. Yeah. And stuff, just stuff like that, you know, is very, very, like, important when you talk about, like, the small stuff or even the big stuff within, like, uh, you know, a team chemistry, and I think that's unique, bro. Nah, yeah, he, yeah, he gonna be, he gonna be that dude for real. Just off that, just like we said, yeah. first thing he asks is, "What did y'all do last year? What didn't y'all do? What yeah. do y'all want to incorporate?" Like, really? obviously, it's not college. Like, you ain't gotta hang out with the people, but like, if you have a respect for somebody and you like have a love for somebody, you are gonna play harder. Mm-hmm. Like, you mm-hmm. gotta have that team. You gotta have that team bond. That's how like with the Patriots when they was winning so much. Like they they team didn't change that much. Yeah, I was they watching was that locked that, in that Brady documentary. Yeah. <sighs> Tough. They talk about like they all compete in the same way. Like they had Rodney Harrison. He was talking about he was hitting people in practice and and they all just held each other to the same standard. And then that just like carried on to where it's like they won one, and it was like oh we could be even better. Let's win another one. And then they right. won. And then they just mm-hmm. like and then that's just how it kept going to where it's like that's even now it's just talking about you talk about the pre- Patriot way. To where it's like that's like a staple now, yeah. and everybody like I mean not everybody, but like some people trying to like mimic that, and so I mean you talk about discipline, you talk about a culture, and like that's I mean that's a blueprint right there. Discipline and culture, that's that's exactly what uh, we was hearing in the draft. At least I was hearing in the draft from Coach Stefanski a lot, um, or Tarver. You, know, you speak to different coaches in the draft, but that you know that discipline piece is is definitely pushes into the culture. I think culture. Um, Actually, I think discipline exactly, it, it really measures what, what culture is. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if your discipline is high or if, if your discipline low, that could be the culture. Yeah, the facts. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, you know, facts. 
like we really want to speak about it like our generation is really wilder yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying but we still call it culture wow. right you know what I mean they, the hip hop culture black culture you know they got all types of cultures and depending on that discipline which is why it's so important when you speak about like team building and team chemistry that's key talking about that culture a little bit y'all come from obviously VA football heaven Midwest we obviously love football here but what was it like Obviously, playing at Notre Dame, I know the ND faithful were crazy. He used to always talk about it. But what was it like coming to a city like Cleveland where, I mean, the fans is crazy. It's all we got here. I mean, I know we got the, the Guardians and the Cavs, but like like you alluded to earlier, this is a, a brown town through and through, dog pound, you get it. What was it like playing it in front of that? I mean, college, Northwestern, we ain't, you feel me? Our fans, I ain't shy. They ain't really got me. Our fans was not coming nowhere. They was rather go do school work. Journalism. Come to <laughs> Like literally, yeah. it was not yeah, until after school, we man, literally was good. Like after my freshman, when we went to the Big Ten championship that next year, like our games was crazy until they see that we sucked, and then <laughs> it went back down. But like coming here, it was that's why I embraced the fans so much because I, I was not used to that. Like, I wasn't used to the amount of luck. Like you could be the man, you could be the man on campus at Northwestern. Nobody, nobody cares. Like, like, be really, the man. <laughs> Let you be the man in Notre Dame. No, that's what I'm saying. Like at Northwestern, you could be the man. No one cares. But obviously, the the athletes know the athletes. Like we had a. Now yeah. I feel like that's at any school. Right. Like, the athletes always gonna be tight with the athletes because yeah. y'all have similar type of traits and stuff like that. But like, yeah, like people be asking me, you know, you gonna let your child play football? That's a hard question. You know what I mean? Especially when you think about your, you know, child moving on, going to college Kicker. and stuff like that. Because you can see, like, when you come to college, you got like. A hundred boys off the rip, like them your them, them your guys. That's who you gonna be with. Like you got brothers on the campus who you can talk to. Hey, like you automatically already fit into that college just by knowing or being on a football team because there's so many people. There's so many people involved. Right. You know what I mean. So it's like that. That it's fraternity. It's tough. It's yeah. It's, it's a fraternity. But now, nah, man, in reference to uh, you know our fans and and the culture here, you know it's phenomenal. I say it's the best culture. Should I say something different? No, I only can say it's the best culture. Because <laughs> it's the best culture. <laughs> but <laughs> at the end Yo. of the day, man. <laughs> I know he was about to say it. You know, at the end of the day, though, um, you know, I think it's a process. I think it's a process with, um, you know, with us as a team uh, becoming exactly what Cleveland's waiting on. You know what I mean? And I think this year, as you said, this is time. It's the Browns' time. I think it's a year to which, you know, we come in and like actually fulfill real, that. Like actually and fulfill that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's actually wild because we was definitely going to ask y'all, like, when the, like, y'all, I mean, the, the expectation was it was Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. I, don't, I don't know if it was like that in the locker room, but I'm sure every locker room across the league is like, yo, we got to win the Super Bowl because that's just the goal. But talk the talks on, on the media and everywhere else around Cleveland, it's like, yo, we going to Super Bowl. People, I knew people was like, yo, what's, what's going to be our regular season record? They like, it's 17 games now, right? So they'd be like 13 and 4. Uh, sixteen and one, bro. Like Ooh, I'm wow. telling you, though. Like it's yeah. and they believe this, though. Like they like sixteen and one. Was, they like we we beat the Chiefs. We we might go seventeen and zero. So it's like it's like <laughs> that was the talk. Yeah, though. yeah <laughs> that, that too. And, and then that too. yeah, like it was like certain teams. It's like uh, you know seventeen. We can win seventeen. So I'm like, all right, but. What, so what was what was that what was that like just going through the season towards like that was expectation preseason and then. Yeah. Obviously, what y'all went through, and then finishing how y'all did. It's always a multitude of people on the team. Like it's it's always those people that's like, yeah, we gone. And then there's some people that's like, uh, you know, we lose that Chiefs game. You know, we, it, it, you know, I think that first year, like I said, that that year was a process for us because there was still people that was within our you know organization that probably wasn't thinking like, oh, Super Bowl. It was probably thinking like, okay, yeah, on the sheets it looked good, but you know, on the field we gotta keep it up, pick it up, things like that. For me, I think. I always keep a, a Super Bowl mindset. You know what I mean? I think you got to. Um, don't think you done did it already, right? Right. In theory, you want to, but, like, in terms of, like, your work ethic, like, if I think I want a Super Bowl already, and there's two ways to carry that, too, I think. You know? <laughs> <laughs> if I think I want a Super Bowl, it's like, if I think I want a Super Bowl, dang, I know how that feels, so let me keep working hard. Right. That's one way. And then it's like, dang, you know, I didn't want a Super Bowl, so let me work hard. So you could, you could probably have two perspectives on it. But for me, you know, I, I choose to kind of, I'm gonna split it down a lot. I don't know. When we was six and seven, I still thought we was about to win. <laughs> I did too, though, because I was no, saying people. Every, everyone, I didn't like that, that. Didn't like people didn't like stop. The people didn't yeah. start doubting or like yeah. stop That's believing. The like they like in the whole no. Game. You can see it. It's like okay, like 
because it's funny because like people pick out certain plays like uh, and it's and that be football like it'd be one or two plays for real that could change, change the whole game, game. game so it's like when you got in it like and you know you got the talent around it and like a good coaching staff and all that stuff it's like oh yeah we'll fix that stuff like it's easy but mm-hmm. no, yeah you can I literally thought we like i did like there was not a point like even in the late in the season, the last two games, we still had a chance to make. I thought if we made the playoffs, we was gonna make a run because that's how good like our roster. Yeah. Like our roster is so good. Yeah. I just like if we make the playoffs, like yeah, we gonna make a run for sure. Like I never stopped doubting until like we. They literally said we not. Gonna make <laughs> then after that, I was like whatever. Yeah. But I mean, we even started off. Yeah, we lost to the Chiefs, but that's the Chiefs, right? And right. we should have won that. Still, yeah. at the end that we should have yeah. won that game. You know what had me? What had me hot was like, damn, we beat the Bengals twice. And they right. Super Bowl. That's the thing that gets me hot. That was crazy. Man. That's y'all just think y'all got their number or what? Like, no, we got their number for sure. Oh, just yeah. locked in. That we have we they, Every, <laughs> what they have. We we have. That's our strength to stop mm-hmm. it. Right. Yeah. I back seven. No, it was, just, it was just they, yeah they yeah they execution. receiver core tough. So what's it? What, what you did you guard chase that game? What was, what was he like? I mean, like you y'all you talk some battles. You talk about it where it's just like maybe he, like a lot of people say he don't care about his release. Somewhat, sometimes, but down the field, he go, he gonna go get that. So what was what was the matchup like against him? I mean, they got T Higgins and other people as well. But what was, was it like to chase? Mm-hmm. I won it though. I was you know I was talking. I was in. I was just talking in his ear the whole game though. But nah, it was, he's a oh gosh, obviously he's, he's one of them. He's one of them dudes for sure. Like you can't deny it. You're right. Like he's one of the best receivers in the league now. Not right. just for a rookie. Like he's one of the best now. But now nah, it was a battle for sure. Um, I just think that we just got the personnel to to guard that type of, you know, those type of mm-hmm. those elite receivers. Like we got that those personnel. Like I don't think he had a D ball against us. Um, yeah. We had a lot of just like, and it wasn't even on no coaches like playing flooding the yeah, coverage right, to him. Right. Like he letting us go out there and, and play. It was one on ones. It was one on ones. The whole we watched one clip today, and like you were on an island. Now I'm on an island the whole like, game. No, like a real island. Like it's, <laughs> nah, it's like explain, the island. explain the, the island Formation yeah, yeah, yeah. to the boundary Just me formation and him to the, to the ba- We see, literally watched the, the film today Coach going over Like yeah formation Into the boundary and Like Greg is like The only one over here One on one Like It looked like They definitely trying To get him open like, right? Yeah so For but sure It was a, it was a, Like those are the games I Right Those are the games I Like my blood gets pumping yeah. You know because That's, At the I end mean, of the day I said I don't think I got the respect That I deserve right. After my season like, I thought I had I finished like top five in the whole league in single coverage, the whole entire league. But like, mm-hmm. people still don't like my name is still not one of those being brought up. Like, and that, and that, like, I don't like stuff like that. Like, and it's just gonna keep me working harder and harder and harder. And like, I'm so like, that just makes answer me. This, so, what's gonna happen when they do call it? When they do start saying it? Oh, then I'm like, my, why is it, no, why is it you gonna keep working? My thing is like, I want to be the best to do it. Like for real, like, I want to be the yeah. name the best in the league. Like, obviously. Like, Denzel getting paid all that money is, like, motivation to me. Like, I, I want it to be where when you say war, you got to say me. Like, we 1A, one, like, how, um what's the name was? Revis and Cromartie. Mm-hmm. Like, two corners going Pro Bowl. Like, when you think of one, you think of the other. Like, that's my my goal. Like, I don't want no corner one, corner two. Like, we 1A and 1B. Mm-hmm. Like, that's my next. That's what I want people to start seeing. But, you know, that just comes with, I think I, I just got to show more. Like, at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. But I think corner different though when it comes to the media though it's either a the, the player who talk a lot, or the yeah. corner who get a lot of production in terms of ball production. Right, yeah. So and the casual fan not necessarily seeing you know when you locking somebody up either the ball not coming your way. Right. Like, ca- the casual fan don't care about the PBU. So I feel like you know in, in that perspective, he trying to say get more interceptions. That's what he trying to say. Yeah, but I'm saying though, like, <laughs> as a fan, but, but I'm saying though like as a pl- somebody who like watching the game though like we clearly seeing that like our secondary was like was tough last year despite the fact that you know the outside people. Yeah, I feel that though because like. Well, linebacker is like, all right, you ain't got that many sacks. You ain't got that many tackles. That Those type of things, like the numbers type of thing, it do. But, again, like you said, your numbers was there in terms of the, you know, the single coverage. Yeah, it's defended and but they ain't, But they ain't going to care about that. You it's know? very important. Yeah, that's why, that's why I wasn't really tripping. It's like, at the end of the day, you just got to keep working. Mm-hmm. Like, what, what are some corners you, uh, you, you, like, you model your game after? It's crazy because everybody would be like, nah, bro, you lying. But, like, literally, Denzel mm-hmm. Ward was the <laughs> – he was literally the dude I've been watching my whole entire – like, everybody be like, nah, he lying. Yeah, uh, but, like, literally cool. him, Jair, Jair Alexander. Yeah, right. um, Tough. Those are two dudes that I really model after the most, honestly. Obviously, I watch Ramsey. You watch yeah. you watch a bit of 
bits and pieces of everybody. Like, that's how I think I got my, like, tenacity. I had it, but, like, seeing how Ramsey play, like, that's how I like to play. Mm -hmm. like, I'm going to get in your face. I'm going to talk to you the whole game and stuff like that. But, uh, nah, definitely those, pretty much those three is mm -hmm. the guys I watch the most. You uh you model your game after any you your game is like is like it's very it's tough that's yeah, what I, know, yeah I agree Deion but Deion Jones, Jones. okay the guy. oh yeah, yeah yeah okay oh my gosh he's the guy I used to watch him before the, the yeah the, he, uh, we on the we on the way like way to games on the bus going to the stadium and he watching Deion Jones I'm definitely Deion. but like it made sense though because I'm over here watching Tyron Matthew because right, it's yeah, like watching yeah. yeah so it's like like all right I see how he did that it's like okay mm -hmm. if I get if I even he running this way and I can get a punch out I'm gonna try I'm gonna try it. Yeah. yeah so it's just like <laughs> yeah. that's just like that little extra like education piece that you get like right. on your, like right before the game yeah big fat big fat and 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 like you try to look for unique playing styles too like Deion Jones in a one of them guys, mm -hmm. he like a, you know, he yeah, got that kind of swift right, a little yeah. bit. So I'm like, yeah, that's kind of like, it's similar to to what, you know, I have in my game too. So Dion, he a speedster, you know, uh, I'm the fastest guy on the team. So when <laughs> I think of speed, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Up. You seen my 40 before? That's why he didn't run. No, no, did you see my 40 though? You was not, for, I've seen you race All I'm asking on is, have you see, did I do a 40? Oh yeah. Kickoff coverage is four too. No, nah, he was so he, so, and he was, a, he was like the last one. That, he was not the last one, but we had oh gosh, two. The two drunk. fives are the dudes who run the right. Oh, oh it might it might have changed. It might have changed. He might he might have got slower. He might have got slower. He got slower. Demetric Felton was film. leaving him on kickoff. Film is all I ask. Oh, you play the fastest? In no, the no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not saying. No, no, no. no, no. Just, in the league, you nah, play the forget fastest. forget that. I'm talking about. Excuse me. I'm talking about the special team. He said I was last. I don't think I was last. So if we race forty yards, who gonna win? Yo, you drunk. We were talking about this the other day, bro. Come on, bro. It's easy. What, uh, what, the, what, the, what the fans say? Watch this. What the fans say? It don't matter. When what we asked on Instagram. Say. We asked on Instagram. JLK. 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 JLK does not have a negative comment from nobody in not, the whole world. Yes, I do. I promise <laughs> that, you. That, that might be true. I promise y'all. small. Y'all don't see that all the time. No, I'm talking Too about small. right now. That was before. After yeah, this nah, season. They, they, they didn't see you play. They I didn't promise you. He does not have one negative comment out there in the world. I still hear that. No, you don't. Who's what, what? Who speaks he, negatively? He probably about does not have a Greg. negative. Huh? I've never seen a, a negative comment about Greg. I've never you seen. You can. I promise you, you can. Have y'all watched this? Have y'all seen mom, it? my mom and them? You know how moms be. <laughs> my mom, one of them that quote it and then. But she, she say, <laughs> she, she she say something, bro. <laughs> you know how moms be, bro. Wait, so do y'all pay attention to like the social media aspect and like the negative stuff? I see. I like it. Like I don't pay attention to the point where I'm like. I'm about to scroll and look at every negative thing somebody say, but like, mm. I like stuff like that though. Like, I like when somebody, oh, Jamar Chase is about to kill him this game. Okay, note it. I'm gonna write that down in my head. <laughs> like, I don't take none of it to heart. Like, right. you can it's say whatever. I really don't yeah. care. But like, some of that stuff, you, I feel like there's not a player in the league who say they, that can say they don't look at none of that. Yeah, Everyone looks at it. Yeah. Like, I don't I look, look at, at it and really care like, about it. But like, it. I like bu it's bulletin board material. Are you looking for stuff like that to to motivate you going into games? Like, oh, Jamar Chase about to go for three touchdowns on them. Okay, now I'm really locked in. So like, it's it's, it's literally yeah, it's like stuff like that. A career day. I don't really, I don't really like too much care about like what what like fans is saying in terms of like the negative fans and stuff. But like, if a, if another player on the other team say something, that's kind of like when you oh, what did he say? Okay, that, you know, that's cool. You don't really feed off of it. You don't really. Um, Cling to it too much, because I mean, once the game start, all the emotions talking Man, is all out the with. window. Yeah. It's over with. So even them people that be doing like the pregame, John, be banging their head on the wall. I listen, they you know, all these wasting energy. For no wasting energy. I be looking at them like, like come on, bro. <laughs> we doing, bro. I mean, like I'm chilling. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I mean, chilling. I'm, I'm gonna take a little nap. I'm a little moss or whatever. <laughs> we be talking like this before the game. Just like this, <laughs> laughing. Like this. Who got a Who got a funny uh, pregame routine that you can that you can mention? Uh, Miles, yo, Miles Garrett, yo, oh my goodness, he wa he watch these these like anime joints before before the game. I don't know what it is. I don't know oh, what like it is. Like the little like the cart like the anime cartoons. It's like little yeah. cartoon anime, anime joint. I ain't know that. Yo, I see him all every time. I be watching him. He got the headphone. He locked in. <laughs> <laughs> it must got like a beat on it or something. I don't know. It might be his motivation though. It might yeah, be his get up. I, don't, I, th I think I seen him watch a little Michael Jordan joke one time. So I don't know if it's consistent, but I know I seen it at least twice. <laughs> I know I seen it at least twice. Um, 
What's some uh, y'all done been in Cleveland for a little minute now? So what's some spots that y'all like to go eat at, or like y'all talk about going to dinner and stuff like that? So oh, he's like, oh, I ain't about to market nobody. Look, I like I call it vegan or food. Or just to, yeah, tell me, yeah, what's what's some of your favorites? Uh, uh, type like what's your favorite type of food or something like that? Drink something. I like give that. you locations. I like you know I like the flats. We we'll go to flats. I like you, you know. Don't eat meat, do you? Yeah, right now I don't eat meat. You gotta bring meat into the subject. <laughs> the, ve- the vegan. No, you vegan. You vegan. Yeah. Well, I don't say vegan, but yeah, I'm vegan. Alkaline vegan. Well, so you look, you looking vegan. for all the vegan spots? Yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I got a, a, in contact with a lot of vegan chefs here. Mm-hmm. Um, really, all over the U.S. I, I'll, I'll fly. Some stuff. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll fly. I'll fly. Um, you know, chefs in and things like that. And have him try some stuff. He, he didn't try good. some of the food. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I focus a lot. You know, I spend my resources on, like, nourishment and how, you know, I can help the community and stuff like that. But in reference to food, it's definitely, um, you know, plant-based stuff. New stuff, whether it's, like, desserts or something like that. I'll try some stuff. But, yeah, that's that's really my diet. Or we'll call it live it. That's my live it. Yeah. Me? Live it. I like I that. I eat. <laughs> I eat whatever. For real. But not oh like whatever. Gosh. Like during the season. <laughs> bro, come on, dog. Like during the season. During I the season, whatever. like like oh, I'm not yeah. eating fried foods or nothing like that. But mm-hmm. like I eat a steak, I eat some chicken, I eat, you know, I'm you eat eating a steak every week. Yes, I eat every Friday. Every I go Friday. to my room every single Friday. Like I'm literally like that's my so right. fans, have so fans. y'all want to know where he's yeah, at. Yeah, right. Hey, in season, he's at, at Marble Room every Friday. He ain't gonna find. He in, the, gonna find, they ain't he gonna in find the private me. room on the right side. <laughs> nah, cause I'm. You gotta, you gotta walk. All right, wait, this. what? Look, try to tell you. Y'all want some signatures? <laughs> Man, stop playing. Nah, but I'll eat steak and yeah. chicken and like I eat whatever. Whatever I'm eating, I'm eating. You got a pregame? Go pre-game, to? go to? Yeah. No, I don't like to eat too much before a game. Really? So I eat a little bit. So much little BS game. omelet. Yeah, I feel just that. like an omelet before the game. Bro, I'd Fruit be hungry snacks. before the game, bro. That's pretty much it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't talk about Chase and a couple of other receivers in the league. I gotta ask you, corner. Who your top five receivers right now that you don't win against? Mm. That I don't win against. Top or five. in the or that you were putting your top five. Oh, just top five. Okay. Um, I mean, you watching film, obviously. Number one, it's got to be Tay off mm-hmm. rip. Y'all played them, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't had to play that game. Oh, I, had, I had a concussion. Christmas. You didn't play, too. Yeah, I had a concussion. I was hot. Yeah. <laughs> My fault, bro. You're supposed to be there, bro. Tay, you, Cooper Cup has to. He just won yeah. a triple crown. Like, there's no. Um, honestly, I'm still putting O in the top five, regardless. Like, period. I think. He would have played in that Super Bowl. He was gonna win the MVP. Healthy O is definitely in there. Um, I like I like Jettis for real. Justin Jefferson. Okay, yeah, mm. solid. Um, and number five, did I say Jamar Chase? Nah, I think so. nah, nah. Jamar Chase. He, I mean, what he do to everybody else? You gotta. Jamar Chase <laughs> What do you do to everybody else yeah. Everybody else you got, I mean right. you got to I, As got, a, uh, I mean like obviously We talk about you Just running full speed Diving you Making all these, No <laughs> Making making all these big These these impactful plays Has it been Like has it been challenging To where it's like Have you had to switch your game up Even as, at least a little bit To where it's like You got like a running back Like Um I mean, probably Chubb, but you probably don't need you probably don't need tackling. But a, up, but a running back, but a running back like Chubb, oh, it's some it's y'all. T- all right, what's what's? Nah, we not tackling. Oh, me. What's, <laughs> I'm not. What, what's uh like a but a running back like Chubb? Joe Mixon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Joe Mixon. What's what's it like? Uh, Mixon hard. Um, mm-hmm. What's uh, Josh Jacobs? Jacobs. Josh Jacobs was hard. hard. I ain't got to play that game. He was running hard. Yeah, but he was running hard. <laughs> I ain't never missed tackle. No way, missed tackle. Bro from New England, did you play? Bro that from game? New England, they were the New nah, bro. He New England had home. Home. which one? Damian Harris? Four, no, forty five. Whoever forty five was, <laughs> he was, he was, he, bro, was, you he, was, know, he was six he three, was. like two. <laughs> he bro, was, he was yes, bro. He used but to. it depends sometimes. Like I never got, I never got forty five. Like I did. Head up. Crack the plate all so game. It depends, right, right? Like you know, I, I didn't. I had Najee head up, or I didn't have this person. So it, it depends. I don't know. Right. I don't know. I think I said I said I said Jacobs. Jacobs, Jacobs was running hard. I think so. 
I'm, I'm good. I'm safe. Y'all have been in the league a year, obviously, and I'm sure y'all probably asked this, been asked this before. But what was your moment where it was welcome to the NFL in terms of like, oh damn, like these these players is uh, you know a step above, or maybe y'all did a play that y'all impressed yourselves with. You're like, oh, I'm in the league, like for real. <laughs> maybe it was practice game. Welcome to the league. I would say good play, oh, back. No. OTAs, like honestly, like I thought I sucked for real, like. I, I feel like I just couldn't guard no. Like I just feel like I couldn't guard nobody. I don't know what it was. Like, I think it's honestly because people be like, "What's the biggest difference?" Also from college to the league, like it's not a difference. I think it's all just confidence. Like just remaining confident the whole time. Like knowing that what you did in college, it does matter at, at a certain. Like obviously it don't matter don't know, when you cause. get there, but like having that confidence. Like my like one of my moments was we played Jacksonville. Um, and I was guarding Marvin Jones Jr. So he's a mm-hmm. nine year vet, obviously paid. And like he runs, a, he on his routes, like I'm there. So I'm like, and that was my first game. I'm like, I'm there. I was like, oh, I'm good. But after just going against him, like that, like that game changed me after that, honestly, after my first preseason game. He's a nine year vet. He had over 1,000 yards in multiple seasons. So I'm like, after that game, I'm like, I'm good. So it's just, I think, at least from my position, at least, you got to, like, you can't come in. Tim, you got to have confidence coming in. At the end of the day, so that was probably mine though. That Jacksonville game, first preseason game, just being able to guard a a vet like at that tenure and and you know sticking with him. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I had one yet, yo. I think more no, so. It's just, it's just easy. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm saying, like, I'm saying like, like he hit me off, but that wasn't <laughs> like I was like a college. Yeah, you, know, you said welcome to the league. Yeah, come on, yeah, welcome to like, welcome to the league. Like you don't play that. somebody. That's like Killing. he give you work like it's. But it's, you a linebacker at the same time. That's what I'm though. saying. Like, like I don't know if I had like a, I have like a lineman come up and, and you know, <laughs> <laughs> like all right, if that was it, I was like walk to the league moment. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I ain't had nobody like really hit me up mm-hmm. like that. Or, uh, I mean, a, a simple cross or whatever. That's you know that's yeah, that's just you know, that's football. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think yeah. um, <laughs> who was it? I don't know. I think um, oh, you talking about the that was from the Chargers. Oh, yeah, yeah. I or? read screen crazy though. <laughs> read, read, read the screen crazy, and I was moving. I was moving. I was moving. He uh, gave him one of them numbers like that. Three zero hit me all like that. Boom. I slid, but I, I popped right. Back. I slid and I hopped right back up. <laughs> yeah, I slid, but I hopped back up. Um, my welcome to the league moment was um, was probably the Ravens' first game. I was so tired. That's the welcome to the league moment, mm-hmm. I think. Because you realize, like, damn, this, damn these dudes is fast. It, it wasn't like, oh, they were too fast, but it was like, it's, that Ravens game was moving. Happening quick. Especially those, those, those teams that, like, do no huddle. And they so, like, my welcome to the league moment is when quarterbacks read certain schemes and know what you're doing before, like, you do it. it That'd be the welcome to the league moment. Yeah. It'd be like, hey, how the hell, buddy, just know that? You can't change. And he'd be like, uh, <laughs> you know, you, like, I'm leaning over the center or whatever. And then the linemen, they like, you know, uh, they calling out the, the scheme. And they like really talking to you, like saying you going this way, like, all types of stuff. It's like, uh, what? How do you know that? And it'd be the film study. The film study really, like, it's not so much of the physical aspect because obviously they wouldn't even pick you up if your physical aspect wasn't enough for the lead. It's more so like one endurance, and two, it's like IQ. Like dudes in the lead, IQ is crazy. These quarterbacks, yo. You just be in the game with some of them, and they just the way they just be talking, they calling out stuff. It's immaculate. I be like, <laughs> I be like, yo, all right. But the thing on on the flip side of that, we got um, Michael Smith and, and Anthony Walker. Them boys, man, they know everything. Troy. They calling out plays. Troy's Half of my plays that I made was one of the guys that was next to me, like yo, pitch, <laughs> <laughs> yo, uh, you know, uh, dive, uh, trap. It's a pool coming right here. Be ready for this. Oh, it got slide through. Yeah, it'd be most of the play. Uh, and I, and I, you start to get in the routine. You see how they film study, and you start to get there. But you know, this with that time and that, that IQ, it's, it's, a, it's time a different level. To get, that's why I miss Troy the most, though. Yeah, like he was he, the same. Troy, way, he was on bro. it. I ain't know. He was calling everything out, bro. Yeah, yeah. Now we're coming. Like we, tough <laughs> jumping. It. That's live. Now I'm ready. Like he was calling everything. Yeah. He knew stuff that was coming. Like he taught me film, all that stuff. That's all. Like that's the dude. I'm a. That's I'm gonna miss 100 percent, like for sure. Yeah, that's fire. I ain't know that about you. 
That's funny. Troy was the one who got in the fight, right? For me. I'm with. What was people don't know that? The Giants? I don't Jeez, even, I really didn't know, even that. know the story. I just saw I saw the he he was dipping though. Like you could tell he he boxed Ooh, a little bro. growing up or something. Because <laughs> like know that, huh? the de- what, the defense, the, his defense was nice. But yeah, what what was the story with that? So it yeah, was like I never me heard the story. in camp. Like you know, I told you I'm talking crazy to anybody. Right. So I'm talking crazy to Saquon on the sideline. Like stay your ass on the sideline. Why are you talking to me? You're not even like talking to him. So Sterling Shepard, I was locking him down. So I'm talking crazy to him. He said some call me some some out of like. Mm-hmm. Out of line, Troy was right there. He's like, "Nah, look, bro, I got it." That's what he said. <laughs> but that, hey, Troy, he, he own that though. <laughs> he really own that, bro. Like, He's like, "Nah, it's over with." Like, "Nah, nobody finna talk." I'm like, "All right, cool, you got it." And right. He said, "It's over with." He for really owned like, that. He, like he fought him because of me. <laughs> okay, that's what's so up. That was the reason why. But he really he got he into really it. Like, when that, I though. was on that with him, he got on that with him. Mm-hmm. That's why I like that was my big like that was my big brother the whole season for sure. Yeah, that's what yeah. for sure. I, I mean, this was obviously great information, great insight on, I mean, y'all lives, y'all, y'all new experience in Cleveland. We talked about college a little bit, so it was obviously great for me to get to y- know y'all. I know it was, um, he drove down from Buffalo to to come down here, or Rochester, my bad. Shout out, uh, what's that, 414? 585. 585. Ooh, 414. Jameer going to be upset when you hear that. Jameer yeah, so I, I tried to Jameer. shout him out because of Jameer, but I guess I was wrong, but... Came down from Rochester just because he, I mean, big Browns fan mm-hmm. growing up, so he wanted to wanted to get in on this and he and TV. So, yeah. you know, we got to help him out there anyway. But yeah. for sure, appreciate y'all. It was tough communicating with him. I don't know if he if is y'all yeah. be at the facility from eight a.m. to tough, to him, ten p.m. Tell him how tough he doesn't he respond to nobody. But I'm like, <laughs> bro, like. It it, it, it it'll be he text me back at random times to where it's like I'm se- I'm sending like three messages like yo like when you want to do it or like what time you want to do it uh, are you are you even in Cleveland <laughs> and then he'd be like and then he'd text me back at like seven thirty in the morning and be like three p.m. and I'd be like then I wake up at like eight like try to text him back fast and then and then I'd be like what he day don't respond, bro. he don't respond until like three p.m. so I'm like oh then I gotta text everybody else yeah, back. I know that like He's, I'll text day. him at nine thirty he'll respond at nine thirty one. And I'll respond again at 9.32. Then he won't respond again until 5 p.m. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, bro, come on. Like, that don't even so make sense. Like, like, bro, I'm like, like that's not make that sense. I'm serious, bro. Then I'll call him. So he'll cat. decline it. I'll call him again. He'll decline it. Bro, and then that, not say nothing after. I'm like, we, bro, did, we did not talk. Bro, I, I tried to call him like probably capping, four. Bro. I tried to call him four times over the next two days or over the past two days. At the first two days. You FaceTime. I didn't FaceTime you. I FaceTimed you twice, it's, and you decline it every time. And I <laughs> no, see, I be, I be I, seeing you on FaceTime. So it's, I don't, only FaceTime. You say you only FaceTime. I only FaceTime. I don't. I don't. We do be FaceTime. Yeah, we only. I hear, when I, we talk, we FaceTime. We don't call people. That radiation on your ears. I don't do that. It's just good to see another Put face. I put mine on you know speaker. Yeah, you feel me? I like yeah, seeing another face when I'm talking. I feel you. To, you feel know you know yeah, saying? we done got into a generation. Of, yeah, yeah, NFTs now. You can see all, the, all stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, so it's, it's based off of like face and, and look, man. They got the little filters now. Everything face well, now. You can put a little yeah. hand on your face if you don't really So what want. I like calling you on the phone like this. Hello? I'm trying to envision what you... Cause you, I, right. I feel like I, when you on Facetime, you got to make sure your Wi Fi good. Like it's a whole lot of other things that go into even play. When you see, even when you see it blurry and it's, it's glitching, facial it's still, it's, you know, still it's able to. You still. I, be get, I, I get annoyed, so I'm like, I'm like, I'm trying to say something, and then you talking, and then it's breaking up. You glitching. I'm like, I gotta wait. I gotta wait a couple seconds for you I'd to come do back. I rather that because I don't want to talk anyway. I feel you. You know what I mean? It's like at the end of the day. Oh, yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah, yeah. That's that's a quick that's yeah, a quick hang up. Yeah. And it's later. it's mad hard to hang up on FaceTime. Like you click the screen, oh my goodness, you... it it'll go to a different app. Like <laughs> wow. it, it take like it take like twenty seconds to hang you up know, on FaceTime. Hit that. I mean, I'm I'm immaculate with <laughs> having that phone right there. No, just having it so still, doing this little quick little slide down, <laughs> airplane mode. That's how you end it. Oh my god! Wait till that don't sit there. I think you that that might be a lot. No, that's what you're right doing because then because then it's like just it, the it, connection. It you see the little, <laughs> and you know how you see the little, it, huh? and then yeah. just like yeah, you know, wait a little second, and she you know she, he'll be talking, <laughs> <laughs> and, and the jungle the airplane mode, and then just slow down. She just watch you talking, and it's just 
That's a good one right there. That's a good one right there. And, just, and it just goes out on her end, on his end. I'm gonna definitely try that. It's like, oh, my connection back. And then you'll probably gotta turn it back on for a little for a little second. You know, she, you know, you know, she gonna you know he, she gonna text you right back and yeah. be like, oh, what happened? Call me back, or whatever. And you just, phone if died. they do phone, call right back, phone die. Best one. Phone die. That, that's, that's not the best one. Yes, it think. is. No, it's not. Cause the airplane mode might really be the best one because it's like the airplane is definitely because it, it really go down and then it's just like, dang, she like, yeah. what happened? Oh, it's connect, yeah, somewhere down. And like you clearly in the middle of the conversation to where it's like, yeah, it wasn't like you was trying. This is what you do now. I mean, it's like. Okay, y'all on the phone, boom, turn on the FMO, boom. It go down. After it go down, turn right back off. She'll text you, hey, what happened? She might call you back. <laughs> but tell her, hey, connection was messed up. Uh, but I just walked outside, you know, with my boy or something like that. Cool, out of there. You don't got to, you know. I hope they recording this so they can put it, it on it's, I mean, I it's, this definitely going on. This probably going to be one of the little reels, too. Cause it's good information. Oh, no, that's perfect because every girl going to get you now. Well, I don't it have many work. girls, so, I mean, uh, you, you can get me if you want. Yeah, <laughs> I got, like, what? Cap, zero tears. girls. I'm talking zero. To. Twelve. Zero. Seven. Local? Any local? Uh, zero. Zero. I mean, it's none nowhere. You know what I'm saying? You try to trip me up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you try to trip me up. But it's not, bro. I just, you know. Right it. now, I'm just focused on my school. Uh, school? <laughs> I'm just giving, like, the common answer. The, the, uh, what you should say, say just focus yeah. on the school and Yeah, I'm football. just focused on my family. school, football, family. <laughs> 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 nah. I ain't got nothing, man. He, he he got a couple though. No, I don't. You got nah, a couple, man. You know, I'm just focused on. <laughs> you got a couple. I'm trying to go pro bowl. Man. He got locals too. No, I don't. Got him. Yep. Don't got and him. I got him. <laughs> you can give me all you want. It's not true. I'll be to myself. We should zoom in. I was just zoomed in, boy. <laughs> can we zoom? Can we zoom in? I'll be to myself, man. He zoomed in on you. Hey, right. like. Talking about forty plus girls. Greg Newsom. Forty plus girls. Oh, bro, forty the only plus. Only woman forty I, plus years in the league. The only woman <laughs> I love is my mama and my and my sisters. Bro. Forty plus years in the league, bro. Nah, I don't want to play forty. Well, no, that's a long time. You want to play forty? No. What, what Brady at? <laughs> about twenty three. Twenty three. It's a long time. You gonna play that long? Yeah, I love football. <laughs> you gonna probably move to. Uh, Africa or something after you done, huh? Go somewhere else. You always been connected. I know we said we was about to leave, but you you always been connected to um like your hometown and stuff, kinda. Not really. I mean when I um twenty eighteen I started to like really get into like my sophomore, sophomore, into like the junior year. Started to really search and dig and stuff like that about my traditions and cultures and stuff like that. So that's when I really got connected to the continent. Found, I started to, you know, started to get more into the African side of things and perspectives of life. So. Where am I from? Yo, when you we leave, I just got I just got three ancestry. I had an ancestry dot com send me um, some free. Um, it's African ancestry too. They got you know DNA tests from like thousands and thousands of tribes, and they do uh, a, a matrio test, matri clan. And do a, a Patriot Clan, a Patriot Clan. Where so I got one for you. Can you find <laughs> it for me? Can you find And I can tell I'm you. I, no, I got you. You mm-hmm. might be from like Cameroon or something. I mean, that's cool. All right, let's, let's, <laughs> before we even get, I don't even know where that conversation going to go, but before we get, before we. I thought it was, I thought he stopped recording. He still recording? Nah, we still going, but. Oh, all right. We uh pre- again appreciate y'all coming down. Like I said, we on uh we we downtown at the brew office on West Six in Cleveland. Um, two of the future stars of the Cleveland Browns. I appreciate you coming on, Jeremiah Wusu Koromora, uh, Greg Newsom. So I mean, I'm excited to watch y'all this year and see what y'all can do, especially bring the Super Bowl to to the city of Cleveland. I mean, y'all already loved by Cleveland. I'm sure, like, you win a Super Bowl, it's you're gonna be able to. I don't. You're gonna be able to do anything you want in this city. Uh, what are you talking about? So what you want to do in the city. I don't know what you're talking about, but I uh, appreciate, again, Carl Jones coming down. I uh, appreciate you, but another episode of Varsity House Podcast. Um, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> here we go, Brownie. Here we go. <laughs>